Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your continuity to support the work of this channel. Now, no more secrets as finer details emerge concerning a probable Ruto Calonzo deal ahead of 2027. For a very long time, President William Ruto has been keen to have a former vice president and wiper, of course, party boss, Stephen Kalonzo Msioka, to strike a political truce with him. Ahead of the recently concluded August with general elections, during series of his political rallies in Ukambani region, Ruto besieged the residents therein to urge Kalonzo ditch Raila so as to broker a political deal with him. This request failed to see the light of the day as Kalonzo Musioka remained focused in Azimio La Omoja. Once, uh, for example, in uh, Azimio La Omoja one Kenya coalition, coalition party while backing the presidential bid of former Prime Minister Raila Amolo Odinga. With him not seemingly giving up on his desire to have Kalonzo in his quarters, President Ruto once again extended an olive branch to the wiper boss, urging him to join him in his government, probably to be given a docket to head. What raised, of course, eyebrows is the bold declaration by the two Ukambani governors who are close allies, yes, and confidence of Kalonzo, Machako's governor that is Wavinyandeti, and Kitui's governor that is Julius Malombe, pledged to work with the president in what many interrupted as early steps in sealing a Ruto Kalonzo deal. But again, one thing that you must understand is that the government of the day is William Samuruto. And of course, we are having county governments, and uh, for example, a vineyard deity must work with the governor or with the president of the Republic of Kenya. Does not mean that if they are going to work with William Ruto, it means that they have joined William Samaruto and they have dumped Kalonzo Musoka. So the reality is that they must work with the government in place. The same same to Dr. Julius Malombe. The same same to the governor of Makweni, that is Mutula Junior Kilonzo. And they must, to work with Ruto does not mean that they have uh, vacated Azimio, now they are supporting William Samaruto. Because their boss and their party leader, that is Kalonzo Msoka, is still fighting in the opposition. And it is likely something good can happen to him. Maybe he can be endorsed, or maybe he can be the presidential candidate. Of course, but setting the record straight on this probable dealings with Rucho, details have emerged that Kalonzo is not ready for any pact with Ruto, as he said, to be busy putting his house in order with the focus on the 2027 general elections. Kalonzo is keen to succeed Raila and inherit his rich traditional support basis and contest for the presidency come 2027. With the hope of trancing William Samaruto, I think he must be on a right path of his political support. I always tell people that Kalonzo Msoka's time has come, that it is likely something better for him to come out. I know some people will always say that, look, you've been in a, cold, uh, in a political cold for a long period of time. Join William Samoto so that you can enjoy being part of the government. But you see on the other side, the other side Alonzo Msioka is very busy, very busy making his path towards the presidency of 2027. One thing that I have realized is that, ladies and gentlemen, this time Kalonzo Msoka, this time round, Kalonzo Msoka wants to be at least relevant. Despite even if he is going to be defeated in 2027, he is trying to be relevant and having a stand when it comes to his political career. It has been said and it has been uh, uh, spread across the Republic of Kenya 
that Kalonzo Msioka is a watermelon. That Kalonzo Msioka cannot stand strong for himself. So this time round, it is shocking these people like Kalon William Samaruto, Rigadi Gashagwa, now begging Kalonzo Msioka to join government. I mean, if today Kalonzo Msioka joined the government, no benefit because the only thing that this government is looking forward to is that when they are having Kalonzo Msioka, now is like the 2027 deal pack has been signed. So it means that they are killing the ambition, political uh, career of Kalonzo Msioka the way they have done it to Salim Dabadi. So it is something that is very clear that Kalonzo Msioka this time round he wants to at least show that maturity in his political career, have a stand. Now, because his political party is so uh, spreading in Ukambani region, and you can see his political party has done it exemplary well. I think Kanonzo Mitsoka is having three governors in Ukambani region, if I'm not wrong. Because, if I'm not wrong, the governor of Machakos is Waipa, that is Wavinia Deti. Then the governor of Makweni is wiped again, Mutula Kilonzo. And the governor of Kitui is wiped, Malombe. If I'm not wrong, those political parties, you can correct me, at the comment section below. So I think this is a time for Kalonzo Mso. And that is why you see even the other, uh, the, the last day, Regadi uh, Gashago came out very clear, explaining to Kambani region, especially when they visited Kitui County. The Gadi Gashabwa came out to exploit and also expose William Samuel to that. Look, at times it leads to a, a way that we were almost uh, getting to each other on fire. Why? Because he said that why is it that William Samuel was giving Penino and Malonza, the cabinet sector of tourism, then Alfred Mutua, uh, cabinet secretary of foreign affairs. Malonza is coming from Kitui. Now, Alfred coming from uh, Machakos. Then he asked people, why is it William Samaruto giving these people these seats? Yet, Ukambani region did not support William Samaruto. So that is the criteria now. We, uh, uh, Kalonzo Msoka has come out very clear that, look, this time round, you will not confuse me. This time round, even if I'm weak, I will prove myself that I'm strong. So, ladies and gentlemen, perhaps that is my op opinion. What are your opinions? You can give your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of great support. If you are a visitor, please consider subscribing. You put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos like this, you get notified. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to appreciate you so much. By the way, don't forget to like this video. Otherwise, bye-bye till you meet on another video.